So welcome everyone. We're so glad that you're joining us today. I'm very excited to introduce our special guest, Roberto Suarez, otherwise known as El Happy Coach. <laughs> I'm so delighted to have Roberto with us today. Hi, Roberto. Uh, hi, Lisa. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining us, Roberto. So Roberto, again, known as a happy coach, is be your happy self. He will help you breathe your way back to happiness so you can create a life or business that is worth playing. So I love that, Roberto. I love that uh, definition of the invitation to live a life or have a life, a business that is worth playing. So can you tell us a little bit about that? What, what do you mean by worth playing? Well, m most of us are playing... A, either a business game or a life game. And perhaps it's not bringing us the results that we want in our life, or maybe it is, but there's something missing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, about 15 years ago, I asked like 15 different uh, professionals that were quote, quote, were uh, successful, you know, with relationships, money, and so forth. And, and what I asked them is, what's missing that if you had, right, would take your life to another level? And, mm -hmm. and, and the answers was either a little more peace or more happiness. Mm -hmm. and, and in each case, they all wanted to play a different game. Like, let's say there was one, one particular person that was really high level uh, banker. Mm -hmm. And he, he wasn't really happy with what he was doing, he was making over half a million dollars a year, had a nice family, blah, 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 but he wanted to play another game. So it's like looking, you know, are you playing the real, the real game? In my case, I, I you know, I was, <laughs> I was like Mr. Ego, you know, playing, I, I was uh, an entrepreneur, basically managing startup companies. Mm -hmm. And I, and I kept, and, and I kept manifesting, not retiring at 45. Mm -hmm. You know, there was something I always created that something happened that didn't happen. And then eventually I, I had to lose everything. And when I did that, I realized, hey, that it was okay. That, hey, I'm still alive. Yeah. I, and it was kind of like an awakening. And, and that's when I started, like, I, I became a happy coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I took what these people said about happiness and, and I said, OK, I'll become a happy coach. And uh, and I started playing that game and I started getting in more into Tai Chi, into yoga, in, you know, into circular breathing. And uh, and here I am, you know, like 30 years later, uh, you know, playing this game. Amazing. You know, and, and it's something that that let's say even my, my family think I'm crazy, you know, but, but it's, it's, I, I never thought I'd be in the space. Let, let's say that, you know, and, and what I've been able to create, not from a money perspective, but from supporting others in, in shifting their consciousness and manifesting something in their lives that, uh, that they never thought it was possible. And, mm. and I can talk more about that, you know, like what I've done in Cuba where, more than 5,000 people have, have uh, done breath with me because I was able to give it up and, and go to Cuba and, and, and create a new reality there. Yeah, I mean, well, first I just wanna say, I can't imagine you ever not being a happy coach. I mean, your smile, your radiance is just like electric. So I think <laughs> even before you called yourself a happy coach, you were the happy coach because that <laughs> smile is like... <laughs> Well, <laughs> so I just want to put that out there. So, but yes, I'd love to hear about what you brought to Cuba and what that what, what that experience was like for you. Well, so and for the people you were able to to give this experience to. Yeah. So, so in the year two thousand, I I went to Cuba for the first time after forty five years. I left it when I, when I was eight years old, mm -hmm. and and, um, and and I went when I was doing some transformational work and. And because I gave up being right about everything in my life. So I went to Cuba to find out. And then from, from there, what happened was I met a cousin of mine that uh, she was into yoga. And we were kind of like, you know, we did everything the same, you know. And she lived that world and I lived my world. And uh, but we were like almost like soul brothers and sisters. Right. So. Mm -hmm. 
I, I what I wanted to do was bring the yogis in Miami and the yogis in Cuba together mm -hmm. and, and form like one yoga, one breath, one community. Nice. Right? But that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> It was unbelievable, you know, like the, the master yoga guy in Cuba was like a, a little Fidel yoga guy, you know, like it's only this way. Right. And, yeah. and then the, the yogis in Miami was all about taking groups over there and making money. So that mm -hmm. wasn't working, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then with my cousin, she, you know, I, 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 I did a, re, you know, I'm a rebirther, you know, I, I learned from Leonard Orr. I, I started rebirthing her. She loved it. Then she brought her best friend that was the daughter of uh, of the, uh, Raul Castro, who's, if you know the, about Cuba, you know. So the yeah. daughter, I rebirthed her about six times, you know. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then out of that, little groups started happening. And then I met uh, Juan Davila, who's the president of an organization called On Meditación Cuba. Mm -hmm. And and which he started about 10 years ago. And what they do is they integrate science, the arts, and holistic practices. And they have a yearly uh, conference where they bring people from all over the world. And, and it's an integration, it's a celebration of integrating all these you know, energies. And, mm -hmm. and I was in, meeting him, he brought a bunch of people. He brought like the, the president of neuroscience, all these doctors, some famous yogis that were that had learned in Cuba, all these people to do rebirthing in my cousin's house. Wow. You Amazing. know, and they wanted to know all this scientific stuff. I'm not a, a science guy. I'm not a, you know, like trying to figure out why the breath goes this way and that way, and you know, and what it does. I'm a I'm a science practitioner. Yeah. You know, I'm just all experienced, you know. Yes. So, so they were asking all these things. I go, listen, give it all up. You guys, all you do is, you know, all you want to analyze, analyze, analyze. Let's just breathe. And after an hour of breath, they were like blown away. And then they invited me to come back. And then they, we had like this event where there was 200 people, you know, and I brought some other breath workers from Miami. And it was, and then from there, they invited me to go to, to every conference and and the next conference I gave a talk about breathing <laughs> and I said okay here are the problems I can solve right anxiety this I go how many of you have this kind of challenge they all raised their hand the next day I had over 500 people that wanted to breathe uh -huh. and they came into El Palacio de la Revolución <laughs> so I go how do I take care of 500 people <laughs> you know the breathe yeah. so I just connected i said hello to fidel hey fidel are you watching and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we started breathing and that just created an explosion of breath work in cuba and, wow. and, and then i had like you know like i got 10 10 people that i trained in the last few years and they got their their entrepreneurship uh, they got little businesses going, like you know, and their little groups, and they're doing their things, and 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 that's what we're at. You know, the pandemic kind of slowed it down a little bit, so hopefully they have the the tenth annual conference in April. Mm -hmm. So I invite anybody that wants to go, that wants to go, just give me a call because it's it, it's an if you want to go to Cuba and experience something, you know, yeah. that's a place wow. to, yeah. Wow, amazing. You know, that, what an incredible it. experience, you right? Know, to so. be able, you know, for, 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 for a culture that's gone through so much pain and so much trauma to be able to bring the gift of breath is, is profound, right? Because it's not just a feel-good experience. It's deeply healing and deeply needed. I you call know? it la, la re-evolution, the re-evolution of consciousness, uh -huh. right? Amazing. To support the future generations to be able to, to, to live a life and create a life that is worth playing through conscious mm -hmm. breathing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that's happening. 
Wow, congratulations. What a gift. And it takes courage, right? To, to shift from a certain career, a certain way of being, to then go back to your home country and to share this, this profound gift that at first can be met with a little bit of skepticism, you know, as you did with the with the people who were asking you all these questions. And then you just give them that experience and it's it's a game changer, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Oh, very powerful, amazing. Um, all right. So I see that um, one of the things that you really are committed to is really supporting people in shifting limiting beliefs, shifting the results in their lives. And I'm curious how you go about also supporting people having those types of shifts. Okay. So I, I, I call it, instead of breath work, I, I call it breath play. <laughs> right. Nice. So we can yeah. eliminate the, the, the hard part of it. Right. And to have fun, just like a little kid. Yeah. Right? So, so, so the, the, the breath, and I made it into a method that has six, let's call them pillar or principles. Mm -hmm. and, and they are awareness, relaxation, energy or conscious breathing, then vision, playing. I mean, vision, game, playing. Mm -hmm. So the, the first three, are basically integrating the three skills to transformation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this comes from uh, that I really deepen that uh, those those three pillars I or skills with Dan Brule, who's, who's my coach. Uh, you know, the awareness part is really being aware of, you know, how we're breathing or the breath is breathing us. Because mm -hmm. the more we do that, right, the more we open up and the more we start feeling, the more we about our thoughts, the more we know about, you know, what's going on in our environment. So I use different techniques there, like standing meditation. I practiced Tai Chi for 20 years. So I, as a way to become very aware and grounded. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's the awareness side. The relaxation side, to me, it was the key. If, if you want to use the breath to go in a, a spiritual journey, you must relax. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and the more you relax and you be able to let go of your thoughts your body and everything the more as you breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe right the more you relax the more you can go what we call a tunnel and you can go through the the final hole into mm -hmm. consciousness <laughs> And that's a whole. I love that you made that even into a game. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, the final hole, and then you reach enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> because I had to do that to go through that hole. <laughs> which I, it, it took me like 20 years to get there. And, uh, and it, it's an unbelievable experience. So that, that's the second, right? It's relaxation. So you can relax and be able to let go of whatever's showing up in your body and your mind. And and if you can do that of any resistance, then eventually you can let go when the energy takes over. Mm. Because when the energy takes over, you, you better be able to be the observer and be able to relax because it's mm. very strong. So then, so that's the relaxation. So I help people with, with that. Then, and then the next one is the conscious breathing where we use different breathing techniques depending on what you, know, you need, right? So... I'm a, my go-to breath is the 20 breath techniques, which I learned from Leonard Orr. He, he was, uh, my, my first two teachers were Sundar Ray, what, Sundar Ray and Leonard Orr. They, they were my like PhD teachers, right? My, my, my first rebirthing teacher was Sula de Pola. That, she's a Brazilian from, that's in South Florida. And, mm -hmm. and that's a whole other story. And she, she's awesome, right? And, and the one that introduced me to rebirthing was one day was my cousin, Denise Dub. She goes, have you ever done rebirthing? And I go, what the hell is that? <laughs> and I, you know, I was doing Tai Chi, yoga, all this stuff. And she goes, yeah, it's a circular, you know, you breathe and you're going to get a lot of energy. And, and I went, I drove an hour and a half to do rebirthing. This was like, I don't know if it's like 2002, maybe. And, uh, with Sula and we did this thing and all of a sudden I was with so much energy and I go, oh my God, <laughs> what is this? You know, yeah. so that, that's how I started. So, so those are the, the three. Being able to integrate that is what has you to me. And whatever I say is my experience. It's not the truth. Mm. Okay, so what, 
integrating those three, I was able to eventually connect to my real self, which I call, ha- you know, that your happy self. Mm. Right? It, you, it, everybody else can call it, but it's your, it's your true self. It's your divine self. It's, mm. it's you know, where, where you're able to take your conscious and subconscious beliefs and dissolve it and be able to like dissolve into the divine and then everything, you know, works from there. Mm-hmm. So by integrating the breath, relaxing, being aware and practicing, right? You're able to do that. And then from there is create your new game in life. Because to me, your real vision is that connection to the divine. Mm-hmm. And, and it could be called, I, I have a process where, you know, like you, you tap into that and it's not a vision that you're going to, it's a vision you're coming from. Mm-hmm. So, so my vision is, you know, I am happy. So if I don't feel happy, I know that there's a limiting belief or something that is holding me back. Mm-hmm. And, I, and so what I do is I go back to happiness, right? And I go back to flow. Mm-hmm. Because once you're in flow and you can feel that in your body, right? If, if you're contracted, you know, there's something has you. So I had the easiest, to me, the easiest way is to be, be aware, but it's in your body. So if your body feels contracted, just know that you, the, the limiting belief has you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you can shift your body feeling, you're going to shift your beliefs. Right? And then quiet your mind, and then you move forward. So, 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 so that's, that's the vision. So the vision is knowing and coming from that divine state or that mm-hmm. blissful state or that you know, happy state. I call it the happy state, Mm -hmm. right? And then from there, you create a game to play. And I have a whole simple process that I narrowed it down from years of strategic planning into one page where you you got your vision, mission, values. You got in another quadro you have you know, what, what do you want to manifest in whatever period of time, like a year, mm-hmm. right? And then you got, you break that into like three or four goals and then promises, the promises that, that, that you make, right? To move you forward. And those promises are either conversations uh, that, that you have or steps that you have to take that you've never taken. Mm. Mm-hmm. in order to have the, the breakthrough to create a new reality, right? So I, I have that a simple process that, that, mm-hmm. can, that, that you can do so you have a new game, right? Amazing. And then, use, and then you use the breath to be able to remove whatever belief system during your game so you can manifest. So, so the breath is what keeps keeps you present, keeps you coming back to your, to your vision. So if I said to everybody right now, like if time and money wasn't an issue, what do they manifest a year from now? Mm-hmm. You know, so, so if you're listening now, just, just do that, right? And then you, you just close your eyes, feel that, and then feel, how will you be feeling if you manifest that? So that feeling, it's usually, if you can feel it, really feel it, that's your vision. That's mm-hmm. the energy. So, you know, so that, that would be like in my case, if, you know, like a year from now, I'm going to create uh, 500,000 people breathing in Cuba. Right? So how would that feel? Or oh, totally free and happy. So that would be, that's my vision. I am happy and free. Mm-hmm. Get it? And then from there, you play. So now you got the game and you're playing the game. So you, you started with awareness, relaxation, conscious breathing. Then you have uh, the vision, the game, creating the game, and then playing the game. Mm. Now, usually when you play the game, you need a coach. So mm-hmm. who's going to hire? <laughs> <laughs> a happy coach. Yeah, happy coach. <laughs> or whoever, you know. 
or whatever coach you feel would be, you know, good for you, right? I, I might not be the best coach for everybody. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. You got that? Of course. You know? you, I, I would hire Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the six principles. And th that's how I help people, like, be able to manif to create and manifest something new, a game that they want to play in their life. And, mm -hmm. and, and breath work or breath play is, is, a, is a big part of it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love how you're interweaving, you know, all the different elements of our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, our mental bodies, and then using the breath and weaving it between all of them to, to be able to shift from a place of limitation, from a place of lack to a place of creation where it's actually play and not work. And to mm -hmm. use the breath to clear whatever's in the way of that possibility, I think is so powerful. What a beautiful system you've created. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. So with that, I'm curious, would you like to guide? Our listeners love to have experiences. So would you like to guide us through an experience? Sure. Um, let, let, let's start. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, let, let's, let's do like three or four, what I call 20 breath techniques. Right? Okay. And, and these were created by Leonard Orr. And, and, what the, and the way we do it is, is, four, is four sets of five. There's four short circular breaths. Circular breath means that there's not a pause in the inhale or the exhale, mm -hmm. right? So if, you, if, I, if we were doing so the mouth, it would be like this. <sighs> then the fifth one is like a, a deeper inhale. <sighs> then okay. we pause and we do four of those. Okay. Okay, so we, we're going to do... We're gonna start with uh, mouth. Don't worry if if you're like trying to figure out what's better, mouth breathing or nose breathing, right? They're all good, at least in my belief, right? But you use different breath for different things, right? So what I want you to experience today is the difference of how it lands in your body, right? Mm -hmm. Or in your mind you know, the different breaths. So when we inhale, what we do is we're opening up to the life energy, right? And when we exhale, we're okay with life, with, you know, like surrendering to, to life. Mm -hmm. so what, what, you want, what we want to do is to be able to just relax. The more we relax, you know, the more you, you, you get it out. So, so in, in, in these breaths, we're, we're going to practice awareness because be aware of the breath, how we're doing it, right? Then we're going to relax and we're going to use the energy in conscious breath. So, is, so we're going to start, let's start with the mouth because through the mouth, you're opening up more your body channels. So if you got something going on right now in your body, right? This is a good way to, to, to just put your attention on the breath and whatever area in your body that you need some movement and then and then we breathe and, and i'll lead you through the four so are we ready i'm so, ready <laughs> so you can open up your mouth or you can do it real soft but one way the bigger if you can open up your mouth and relax that's the best way All right so here we go first set two three Four, and then the fifth one, bring it in. Relax. Second set. Ready? Four, then fifth one. Relax. Second set. Third set, sorry. Fifth one. Last set. Ready? Now, in fifth one, inhale and hold. Hold. Close your eyes. Notice how you're feeling. If you have to let go, let go. 
If not, let it go now, the exhale, relax. And just keep your eyes closed. Notice how you're feeling. Are you ready? You can open your eyes. So how was that? I love it. Okay. It's amazing how just a few rounds of breath can just shift everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. So so now we're going to do the same thing, but nose in and out the nose. Okay. Okay. And, and that should be, that, that'll open up all like the fifth, sixth, and seventh chakras. Okay. Okay. And and there's and, and by the way, you you can you can do this fast. Like if you need to wake up, you know, I use it to before meeting to create energy. Or if you want to slow down, you can do it very very slow. So you can practice either way. That that's what's a good about these techniques that you mm-hmm. can do it to reduce your you know your sympathetic nervous system and bring it down or to increase it. So. So now we're going to do nose to nose. Ready? Yeah, okay. I'm ready. Okay, first set. Three, four, and then the fifth one. Bring it in, then let it go. Pause. Second set. Inhale, exhale, pause, here we go, third set, the fifth one, bring it in, and then the last set, Here we go. Inhale. One, two, three, four. And then the fifth one, inhale deep and hold. Hold it. Relax, relax your mind, relax your body. And just notice how you're feeling. If you have to uh, release, go ahead and release. If not, you can keep holding. And when you're ready, let it all go. Okay, open your eyes. Can you tell the difference in experience? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one was more grounding for me. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, it. So if you're ever doing, you know, some whatever kind of transformation, holistic, you know, or uh, holotropic or rebirthing, and and you got stuff going on. Right, you can over, you know, I always tell people always come back to the nose, mm-hmm. you know, and so you can get grounded, uh, you know, like if you get tetany or something like that, you know, when you're breathing, I, I always have people go back to the nose and be able to slow down and, and release. Yeah. Yeah. So, so now we're going to have the combination of both. Okay. In the nose and out the mouth. Right. So. Uh-huh. So th- this is a good one where you integrate both, which is, uh, you know, which is good. And you can do also inhale the mouth and out the nose, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so here we go. Ready? First set. The fifth one. Relax. Second set. The 
fifth one. Pause. The third set. Inhale deep. And the last set, here we go. One, two. And the fifth one, inhale deep. Hold. You want to let go, you can let go. Don't force anything. Just be relaxed. Follow the energy. Perhaps you follow the light. If you're whole, just let it go. Just be the witness. Okay, you ready? Open your eyes. How are we feeling? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're gonna end with one more. And, okay. And this is called the, the silent, 20 breath technique, right? And, and I'm not gonna say anything. What you do is, is you do in and out the nose and, and all you're doing is you don't make any noise and you're following the energy. Going in through your nose, where it goes and then coming around just like in a big circle, but just watch it. And you're gonna watch it. And, and this is like really deepening the awareness and being able to follow the energy, mm -hmm. right? And uh, and then we'll we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> Sounds great. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready. So go ahead. Everybody can close their eyes. And when you're ready, just do. You you know how to do a twenty breath technique. So just do four sets of five by yourself, breathing in and out the nose. Real soft. Just notice what you're following. Keep relaxing. Just be the observer. And you're complete, just, just be in the space. Stay in the awareness.
Connect to your heart. May you always be happy, healthy, wealthy, and free. Thank you for playing with me. Are you ready? Open your eyes. So yeah. fun. It's amazing, <laughs> right? I mean, this the breath is just such a gift. So I loved uh, the power of these simple practices, right? So just to recap for our listeners, and what we did was four sets of breath, right? Mm -hmm. So it was uh, four of in and out through the mouth, four of in and out through the nose, four in and in through the nose and out through the mouth, and then four silent, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Four rounds of five. Yeah. Beautiful. And, yeah. and you can just do, you know, some, you know, you can play with them, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and there's a few on, more, but those you can start with those. Those are those are great. And so to really be able to use them to shift your state, to come back into presence, you know, like you said, if you need to be more energized, you breathe with more intensity. If you need to relax and you breathe, breathe more slowly to move more into sympathetic state, right? The parasympathetic. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And and like the one in a, in the nose and out the mouth. That's why you're doing four. You're doing five side of release, which mm. is. You know, because you go, ah, ah. yes, you get it. So, yeah. and the sigh of relief is one of the best, you know, breath techniques to get back to the center. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't have time for like 20 breath technique, right, yeah. do an intentional sigh of relief. <sighs> get you right back. That's, you know, that's. <laughs> That's Dan special. <laughs> oh, we love Dan. He's my favorite coach. You know, like, hey, Dan, how do I create more money? That was Dan. Keep it simple, right? Keep it yeah. simple. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, Roberto. I love it. I love your energy. Thank you so much. That was really, really fun. Yeah. So I guess um, before we complete, yeah. uh, if you were to leave our listeners with something that would really support them in creating more happiness in their life, I mean, the practice you just shared were incredible. Is there anything else that you think would really facilitate them shifting their state, having more access to happiness, to playing a new game. What would, if you had one thing apart from the sigh, Brad, what would it be? It's called practice. Uh-huh. Practice, practice, practice. Yes. Practice. To be is to do. Mm -hmm. Tell us more about that. So, you know, we, we want to get into like being right. Mm -hmm. And, 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 that, and, and I guess you can just meditate and, and you get there, you know, but that's doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I guess I, my, they're doing, but it's doing coming from, uh, I would say love instead of fear. There you go. So what's the why behind our doing is what gives us the access point, right? Yeah. And, okay. and and uh and, and don't be like me that I, I my whole life was coming from fear mm. Mm -hmm. you know so uh and, and i'm 70 now you know so i can so like, so yeah, yeah. so i could tell you it's 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 practice and and there's other ways also to support you you know mm -hmm. plant medicine and stuff like that but the breath is it's the medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? The, the yeah. Medicine. I hear you. And thank you for being inspiration and inspiration in that way. Because I think, you know, for any of our listeners out there who are struggling with fear or who are struggling in their life to recognize that on the other side of that, there is love. And there's, we always have access to love when we're able to choose it. And mm -hmm. through all these different practices, especially through our breath, we're able to actually flip that around to be, to have more access to choosing love. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Thank you for being an embodiment of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Roberto, um, if our listeners would like to learn more about you or to study with you or learn more about your practices, where can they reach you? Do you have any upcoming programs? Or Yes, well, I, uh, you, they can reach me anywhere with social media, El Happy Coach. Mm-hmm. You know, add El Happy Coach and Instagram, LinkedIn, yeah. Twitter whatever uh-huh. uh facebook and uh my website is lhappycoach.com okay the, 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 the website now will be new probably in a couple of weeks so okay I'm, I'm creating a new one and uh-huh. um and and i i think we're gonna we're gonna have a, a ebook that people can get you know i guess through the shift network you you're gonna have an, an ebook that, that you can use it's called the three secrets to being happy, mm-hmm. which I wrote about, I don't know, 10 years ago. When, when I, instead of, like now I say, you know, hack your happiness of success through shift, through breath, shift and play. Back then it was shift, play and meditate. Mm-hmm. You know, but, but it's the same. You, you can create your own game there and you go through the process that I talked about and okay. you can use and do it yourself. And then, if if you uh, if you need some help, you can you know give me a call. So the next uh, event is we, uh, one major event that I'm having in, in April. Uh, you can look up is a breath plant retreat in in Peru where we integrate breath work with breath plants, with mm-hmm. plants, with okay. plant medicine. Uh, we're um, I'm integrated with uh, a chaman in Peru. His name is Percy Garcia mm-hmm. and myself, and we do that four times a year. So that, that's one of the events that I facilitate. Mm-hmm. And, and you, you, if you go into my website, you'll see my breath play method there and also some online breathing techniques. Great. And also uh, I, I, I have a teacher training program if, if you want to become like a breath play facilitator or and master your breath. And Amazing, how fun. <laughs> okay, so you can... Roberto, and do you, um, you know, because I'm Colombian as well, you're Cuban, do you have um, trainings or courses in Spanish for, I figure you've done it for Cuba, but do you have anything recorded or online that's available for our our, our Spanish speaking community? Uh, well, I, I, I do, I, I have 21 breath techniques where I created a, like a challenge uh-huh. that is in Spanish. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna. Yes, I have. I have it. I'm gonna put it in, in it as a course just for Spanish people. Okay. Amazing. So important. Yeah. Wonderful. Absolutely. Great. And then your ebook is gonna be part of the upgrade bonus packages, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. So for all our listeners, I really invite you to. I think if you click below or something, you could upgrade to the bonus packages and and get uh, Roberto's book and also be able to re-listen to all the experiences that we've been uh, going through together. So uh, Roberto, thank you so much for your time. It's been such a joy to be with you. And uh, yeah, any last final things you'd like to say before we say goodbye to our listeners? Uh, Last thing, just breathe happy, live happy. And happy coach. Thank you so much, Roberto. Such a joy. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.